I think that we can help to educate families and help to support the uh, brothers and sisters uh, to know that uh, they're important too and they have needs as well, but it is very scary when somebody has a seizure. It's, it's still true, I've been in practice for decades. I walk into a patient's room and they're having a seizure and my pulse goes up. It's, and I need to take my pulse at that point as well. The advice that I, the advice that I give to parents is um, you have to always live in hope and you have to be a fighter. And like I said, whether you're a pacifist or an activist, you got to fight for your child and for your own health care. And, and the way the access to health care is going and the costs and things like that, you, we teach them to say, you have a right to say, is it critical that I have this test at this time or can I wait? Sometimes it is critical to get that MRI or the PET scan. Other times, no. And it's okay to say, I think I'll wait. Because um, this could financially bankrupt, and it has many families. Um, for instance, in our case, we spend $20,000 out of pocket every year. So you just have to pace yourself and then just have a good sense of humor.